Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 apps you should get for your iPhone. Let's get started. So the first app we're going to take a look at is called Zedge and this is a great app. It's free in the App Store and basically it allows you to download wallpapers, ringtones and notifications all to your iPhone and you can do this all wirelessly. Now there's a link in the description down below where I show you the tutorial on how to set it up so you can do this wirelessly. So check that out if you're interested. But we'll take a quick look at the wallpaper section. Now just like a standard wallpapers app, you've got tons of HD wallpapers. You can search up top here for specific things you may be interested in. But once once you like a wallpaper like this one right here of the new Michelangelo from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. If you like it, you just tap on it. You can download it right there. It'll download to your picture section and then you can use it as a wallpaper. But where this app really takes off is with the ringtones and notifications. It's really hard to find good ringtones and also it's pretty difficult to do this wirelessly. So as you can see, we've got popular songs like Turn Down For What and you've got a lot of different ringtones and I'm talking a lot, a lot, a lot. This thing just never ends when it comes to searching in that form. But you can also search right here if you like Fast and the Furious ringtones. You can go ahead and download any Fast and the Furious variation ringtone and songs from that specific movie or whatever you're interested in. And same goes when we go back here to the actual notification sounds. If you like, say, a Super Mario when he gets a free man, if you like whistles, if you like a puck dropping, a crowd roaring, a specific sound from, say, football or anything like that, you can pretty much get that. And you can just go ahead and search for what you're interested in and then once you've set up the syncing setup here with the sync with iTunes you can do this all wirelessly. The next app is called Tap Sports Baseball and it basically brings a baseball game to your iOS device. So we'll go ahead and play this game here and you can do a whole bunch of different upgrades like upgrading your players so they have better batting, getting new players and various things like that. But the basic gameplay is like this. You're a batter and there's a pitcher and what you want to do is just swipe to hit the ball. So you can see what your player is actually rated. You can see what the pitcher looks like and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and take a swing here and this pitcher is going to throw one. I'm going to take a swing. All the infield and outfield play is done by the computer. You're just basically the hitter. So you want to try to pick and choose when to swing. Obviously, bad pitches you don't want to swing at, like that one there. I went and swung at it. This may go as a home run. I hope it does. Actually, oh, he dropped it. So there was an error. It's pretty good. And honestly, this game was having a lot of different errors in terms of how it was playing. But the developers did a great job of fixing those things. So it's really nice now. You can play with people. You can share this on Facebook and challenge your friends and various things like that. It's a really fun game and uh, I'm enjoying it. And I've been playing this quite a bit lately. But unfortunately, I still tend to strike out here and there. The next app is called Songza, and I talked about this app in the past. It's a great streaming music app, very much similar to other streaming services, except this one I find that it's a little bit more user-friendly, and it's pretty interesting on how it works. So you can see here, this is the concierge section. It basically gives you the day and time of day, and it pulls together music that may fit into what you're doing. So most people at this time may be driving home, so you've got some driving music. If we tap on that, it'll pull up different sections here that you can click on for playlists uh, while you're driving and then it comes up with different playlists so if you want to listen to that one you can click on it and it'll pull that one up if that's not what you like you don't like any of these you can go up here and you've got some more settings so activities you may be doing I use this a lot when I'm working out so there's all kinds of stuff there's even something here it says stripping so it'll pull up stripping music if that's what you're into slow dancing sleeping working out cardio you've got a whole bunch of different playlists you can listen to through that and it's a great way to find some different music that you may not have heard or may not be hearing on the radio and really getting into that way. Now, if that's still not what you like, you can choose different moods. If you're angry, sad, different things like that, you can pull up music playlists within those moods. And then obviously you've got genres. So if you want a really specific type of music, if you want dance music, you can just listen to it that way. And there is a paid version of this because this is free. I use the free version, but the paid version allows you to take away the ads sometimes before the first song you listen to, you'll have an ad. And uh, basically, it'll take the ads away as well as uh, allow you to skip away to next songs because you can only skip, I believe, five songs per playlist per hour. But it is free and I use the free version. 
The next app is Lumosity, and I actually purchased this app. It's quite expensive. I believe it was like $75, but there is a free version, and the free version is great. It lets you do pretty much everything except you can't track as well. But basically what this app does is train your brain. So it gives you various games, like you can see that game right there. If I go to change games, I'll go ahead and show you one game here, but you can see we've got brain shift games, chalkboard challenge, color match, and there's a whole bunch of different games that you can play here that all help you um, with your speed, your mindset, and things like that. And I'll actually show you my stats here. So we'll go back to the home screen here. And I'll go and tap on my brain here. And you can see where I sort of stand up in terms of my score. And comparing to others, this is where I stand up. So you can see that my flexibility at 80%, as well as my speed at 78%, are my two top sections. I've actually dropped down on these because I haven't been playing it very much. And when I did come back to it, I wasn't as fast, I guess, as I was before. But you can see where you stand up. I'm really struggling when it comes to problem solving, which is something I didn't realize. But it does give you training for those things. So different games will help you with problem solving. Different games will help you with speed and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and check out one game. We'll tap on play more games here. We'll change the game. Um, let's see what game we could play that's pretty quick. So this game right here, Basically, it's a bunch of birds, and what you want to do is sort of get the bird in the middle and swipe in the direction it's facing. So this bird is swiping upwards, left, up, left, down, and it's sort of tricking you. It may look really easy, but you want to do this as fast as you can, but as accurate as you can at the same time. Now, obviously, talking on video while I'm trying to do this is not the smartest thing to do. See, there you go. I got one wrong, but it does trick you, and as you're in a little groove here, once you miss one, I find that it's really easy to start missing a lot in a row because you're trying to recover, and it sort of gives you, I guess, training in this section. So I'll just go ahead and pause that right here, and we'll just go back to the home screen, but that's pretty much what this is all about. It's all about training your brain and helping you sort of correct issues like your problem solving, like for me, sort of train your brain in those areas and see where you're actually in these sections. Finally, we've got the YouTube Creator Studio app, and this is great. Finally, an application for YouTube Creator. So if you're a YouTube Creator, you need to get this app. Basically, it allows you to respond to comments on your mobile device, so your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, even Android devices have this app as well. Actually, they had it first, but you can see here, you got your analytics for the last 28 days, so you can actually see how you're doing in the last 28 days. You can see some recent uploads, some comments at the bottom. You can go to the top left here where you can check out your dashboard, your videos, comments, analytics on your videos. You can jump straight into YouTube and even use the YouTube Capture app. So if we just take a quick look at the videos here, you can see all the different videos that you've posted and sort of get a tracking of how they've been doing. So we'll just go ahead and tap on that and you can see you've got a whole bunch of different stats. So you've got your likes, dislikes, you've got your comments, you can see the numbers, you can see your real-time stats within the last 48 hours, the video stats in the last 28 days, you've got some comments that you can respond to in that video specifically. You can go into this section here and just tap on the comments and respond to every comment that has come through to you. And this is a lifesaver if you're not able to respond to comments on the go. And for me personally, I like to respond to every comment that comes my way. So this is great and it allows me to do that. So if you're a YouTube creator, you definitely want to check out the YouTube Creators app. It is free in the app store. Check it out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, the top five apps that I use on my iOS device. I'm sure lots of you guys use a ton of different apps, so let me know what they are in the comment box down below. I'd love to check out more different applications that you think would be awesome or fun to use. I've been using a few apps that you guys recommended last time. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, though, so it was really nice to actually pull one of these out. Let me know what you guys like if you're using these apps, if you like them. Let me know in the comments as well. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.